Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? It's your boy, The Ghetto Ogilva, a.k.a. Pastor Tech, coming back at you with another unboxing video. And today, we got this puppy right here. We have the Move Speed Energy Cubes 65-watt fast charging power brake. This one right here costs me on sale $34.99. It goes for $69.99. So normally you can find this half off at certain times of the year. So that's good. Um, this is a 20,000 milliamp hour um, battery life. It has 20,000 milliamp hour battery. So what we're going to do, get into the specs real quick, and then we'll get into the Eagle Live view. Okay, supports. 65 watt fast fast input type C port enabled to a full charge power bank in just one hour and 20 minutes flight allowed the rate um, the rated energy is 74 watt hours suitable for carry on the plane okay it, it has convenient 3.0 and two endpoints off three point three outputs port support fast charging type c um 65 watt charging um 65 watt usb a1 a2 is 22.5 watt okay it has a uh lcd digital display um remaining you can, you can look at the how much power you have at a glance it does prompt you when fast charging is um enabled um, built in 10 smart protections to assure charging safety. Also, stylish cyberpunk design. And again, this thing right here will cost you right now at $69.99. And you have to understand when you're you know, looking for some 65 watt, you know, you're starting to get more of the capacity of the battery, then you're looking at more and more money. So normally this this is a good price at $69.99. So without further ado, let's get to the Eagle Live View. Okay, we're in the Eagle Eye View. This is how everything look. So you can't really see it, but we're going to go ahead and get into unboxing it. Put this up so I won't cut myself. Oh, there we go. Cellophane off. So here we go, guys. This is everything in. I don't know if you can see it because I got the light overhead lights on. No, kind of snazzy. Kind of snazzy. All right, let's get into it. I like the box. It feels really slick, too. All right. Again, this is, if you could catch it on sale, I caught it on sale for. Um, I called it on sale for $34.99. Normal price is $69.99. So here go. Uh-oh, we got some nice braided cord. That's what I'm talking about. Uh-oh. Uh, we got some nice braided cord here. Okay, 65 watt. I see you. Nice braided. Okay, I like that. Let's take this out. And let's look at, okay, we got the books and stuff. Don't never throw that away. You might need it. Let's see if anything else in here. Nothing else in here. So let's go ahead and push this back in here. So get this out the way. All right, guys, let's get to the main course right here. Mm -mm. There you go. Look how look at it. Now, let's see of it. Okay. We have the uh, micro input just in case you don't have a USB C to, to charge it up. Okay, got like that. All right, on the top, output, and it tells you. Okay, there you go. I'll put 22.5, 22.5. It has a 65 uh, right here. Okay, I like that. Okay. So this is in and out right here. This is a power button. So, okay, everything's simple. All right, let's see what is the charge up to already. Okay, it has fours up to three. Okay, that's cool. All right, guys. So, but before we go to, to charge it up, I'm sorry, guys. Let me show you what my other 65 watt look like. This right here, the Mokin. So now you can see how this one is a lot fatter, chunky, chunky monkey over here. Well, both of them are chunky monkey, but this one's a little chunky and a monkey here. But you see this. Now this one comes with this, but this one came with, you know, its own. Saying so, you can see how how that looks size wise. So it's going to be kind of heavy to put in your bag. So why don't we go ahead and see how much they're weighing and 
then go from there to charging it up and see how it works. Okay, we're gonna put the Munkin on here first. Like I said, these are kind of heavier. So you're looking at 375 grams. You know, you have to put in your book bag and let's see how much this is. We're looking at 397 grams. So it's not that much weight, 375 and 396. 96 yet no no 98 i'm sorry just 98 so this one's a little bit heavier guys but you got to understand when you start getting up to 65 watts and a greater capacity battery 20 many at 20 2000 milliamp hour batteries you're looking to, to to have more weight all right so let's get into charging it up you're going to use his own cable to, to charge it up first we're going to use this right here you have to put in this one too, right here. So that's the in and out. And it will charge up. And there you go. That's how it looks when it's charging up. All right. All right, guys. Also, what you can do is you can use a legacy, what I call legacy, USB C. I think it's in USB C, one of these babies. You know how you. Um, you can also plug it in on the side. If you have a legacy, it still will charge it up. So you use USB-C or you have you have a regular USB. Many, I think that's many, I think that is. Or, so you use that as well. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use the Samsung fast charging. That's how that go. There you go. So you have Samsung fast charging. And you see fast charging, the light turns green. So when you're a fast charging, if it's if it's taking the fast charger screen, and if it's giving the fast charge, it'll be green as well. That's nice. All right, so what we're going to also do is we're going to go ahead and use this baby right here. 65 watt fast charging right here. So we'll go ahead and plug that up. There you go. And it turned green. So guys, we're gonna go ahead and get into seeing, just charge up some stuff. The laptop will be the last thing that we're testing on because it's kind of hard to put on this little desk here. here we go. We're gonna go for the tablet, the S7. Hold on, there we go. There you go. And they go to the, the double for fast charging. And there you go. The green, the green, sorry about that, guys. The green light, fast charging. All right, let's go ahead and do this right here. There we go. Charging rapidly. All right, let's go ahead and do the iPhone. It's on. There you go. See, charge. Let's do that one more time. Sorry for bumping it. Now, one thing I can tell you guys, I don't know if this is by design. Well, it might be by design. That once you hook up three items to this, the, 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 the fast charging um, stops working. Uh, and maybe that is because it only can... You know, once you start 
adding other things to it. That fast charging stops, it, um, it's disengaged. So what we're going to do, we're going to hook up all three, guys. There we go. All three. See how you got this right here? That's going to hook everything up at one time. See, it's supposed to be able to charge three things at once. So we're going to hook this up. See? Rapidly charged. And once we see that green that green light, I'm gonna go ahead and hook up the iPhone. Pow. There you go, charge. Now you, you see this goes to charging. Let me see if I can do that one more time. I don't know why I just keep on doing that. It says charging. Or well, charging rapidly. But this light is not on, so it's not using super fast charge, but it is kind of charging rapidly, as you can see. Now we're going to take this one right here, and we're going to put it into the tablet. There you go. So now if all three don't come on or it takes a minute, just go ahead and hit the on button on the side of the um on the side of the power bank. There you go. Now it's not fast charging, just regular charge. It's still charging, as you can see right here. And then we go here, and it says charging rapidly. But as you can see, the green. It's not on, so it's not doing super fast. Now it's charging. It is charging up rapidly, but it's not the, the super fast charge. So if I take these off, then hit this button. Reset everything. See, charging rapidly. But now the green light is on. That means now it's given a faster charge, which is at 65 watts. So it's charging at 65 watts. So why don't we go ahead and get the computer out, set it up so you can see that this will charge up your computer. Now, the reason I'm going to be using this wire right here, because the computer doesn't have a way of an indication that it's charging. The, the actual indication indicator, sorry, is on the actual plug. So I'm going to put this on so you can see that it's charging up. Okay. I'm going to take that off. So let's get to get, get a closer view so you can see it charging. All right, everybody, we're in a close view. As you can see, put the mouse, there you go. It's at 40% battery status. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to try to see if I can get this in so you can see I put it in. You see the green light came on, and there it goes. It is charging, plugged in. Now, this is not meant for you to play your games with, but it is meant that if you cut off your computer, you plug it up, it will take a charge, so it's able to charge up your computer. As you can see, and it's doing the fast charge because it's like the screen. So there we go, guys. So let's get back to the regular view. Yo, 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 I'm back, guys, to give the... The Smooth Speed Energy Cube 65 Watt Power Big, my thoughts, and give it a grade. But before I give you my thoughts and give it a grade, I want to say this. Don't be like me. When you first get your power brick, charge it up fully before you use it. You want to at least charge up your power brick to 100% before you start using it. This one will only take you an hour and 20 minutes if you have a 65 watt fast charging brick okay anything else it's going to take about four hours i'm gonna say five i think about four but i'm gonna say five so when you first get one of these please guys charge it up fully okay that's the end of my service announcement what do i think about the move speed energy cube i like it guys um 
as you see, it did everything it's supposed to do. I like the fact that it has a micro USB. So if you, you know, have a micro USB and you haven't moved up to USB-C, um, you can use that legacy port to charge it up. Um, 20,000 milliamp hour battery, um, which I like, and the 65 watt. Guys, the reason why I'm kind of moving up to more of a um, more wattage because me and my wife went on a trip and she had to charge up her laptop. And I'm thinking that all these battery packs I get, oh, this one right here said charge up laptop. Not really understand you need a 65 watt battery pack to be able to charge up your laptop. I think it's 60 is the minimum, but it's probably people's, you know, 60 and up or 65 and up. So I said, I'll get me one. I got this one on sale for $43 and 99 cent. Now they, they go on their regular price is $69. But I think this is still a good price for that because you got get them on sale. But, um, I don't really have any bad thoughts about this, to be honest with you. Um, I could ding it because of the fact that I think it should have owned it should have had more Type C than USB A. I think it should have had two Type Cs, one USB A. That's what I think. Or you could have took the USB A's out of there because most people don't use USB A to USB C. Most things are C to C. So this might have been because I know they have another one out, um, which is a larger capacity, and I think it's a hundred watt um, that might have more up to date. Um, peripherals on here or outputs. So, um, if I was going to ding it, I would ding it on that. Um, that I think it should have another USB C out. Um, so it can, you know, 265 watt. Now, one thing I will say is that, um, it will still fast charge because each one of these are 22.5 watts. Um, two of the outs, the USB A1, A2 are 22.5 um, watts, but the C input output is 65 watt. So if you're going to charge up your laptop, use the 65 watt um, that's dedicated so you can charge up your laptop. So, guys, I think that would be the only bad thing I would say. That I think it should have more USB C um, outputs, but I do like the legacy on here. Um, and I do like the fact. Now you move, you 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 get a you get a, a bump up because you put some good cables in. You actually put. Um, I'm hoping the cable is rated for 65 watt, but that's what it says. So I'm gonna believe it. And they didn't cheap out on the cables. A lot of times you get some high capacity batteries or batteries. Their cables are cheap, and I don't know if they are designed to really put out the output and the input that is supposed to be able to charge this up. So move, you get a point for putting in some good cables in it. And guys, for $65, I don't think you can beat it. If you can catch it on sale for $34, I think that's even better. Um, batteries on Amazon go in and out of sale all the time. But if you can catch this on sale or you have the money right now, I would say go ahead and get this um, because this will be something that would just be more than just your phone for your phone could be for your laptop and other devices as well. It's large capacity. And I think, um, you should get one. We had a thunderstorm not too long ago and the lights went out, man, I whipped out all the batteries I had. And we were like, man, we're cool. You know, I even took some of my studio lights, put it around the house so everybody could have light and all of that stuff charges off of, um, you use a battery, a battery, um, bank or power bank to charge it up. So I would say if you if, if if you have the dough on hand or you know you catch this on sale, go ahead and get it. Sixty five dollars, sixty nine dollars, I'm sorry, it's not a bad deal for a large capacity power bank. Sixty five watt at that. So I'ma give this puppy I'ma give it a B plus. The only thing it stopped me from giving it a that I think it should have some more USB C input and output or just USB C output. It could have got rid of one of the USB A's and put a USB C. So I'm going to give it a B plus. And the plus is because they gave you a really good cord in that. So don't change the cord 
move. Don't change the core. So, guys, I'm going to give it a B plus. Hey, guys, do me a favor before I go. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to say one more time. Please like, share, and subscribe. The more thumbs up we get, the deeper into the YouTube algorithm we go. Yet again, this is your boy, the Ghetto Ogrefer. AKA Pastor Tech, thanking you for rocking out with me on another unboxing journey. Guys, we got some more unboxings coming soon. So hit the notification bell so you'll be notified anytime a new video drop. You have a good day. Peace.